We got everything. Do you have your shoes? Alright, what's up everybody? We're in Sturgeon Bay today and uh, this is another adventure vlog. We're up here going to eat our way through Sturgeon Bay, hit some of the best restaurants. There's a fantastic food truck that I discovered the last time I was up here and we're going to talk to Cash and uh, all his secrets behind his incredible tacos and his Mexican corn and all his other stuff and uh, see what else we can hit too while we're up here. Meanwhile, right now we're just waiting on Elias who is supposed to be getting us coffee so we can start our day and uh, once we have that, then we're going to be ready to go here. Coffee has Yo, arrived. All right, all right, all right. Mm. 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 Ah, ah, get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> Starbucks. <laughs> no! <laughs> get out of here. All right, thankfully, there's a fantastic coffee shop here in Sturgeon Bay called Lawless. Elias clearly doesn't know where to go, so we're gonna go there right after we check with Cash. Maybe he'll even come with us, so stick around. Inside the old Sturgeon Bay Bank on Madison Avenue in Sturgeon Bay is an absolute treasure if you're a coffee enthusiast. Owner Stefan Witchell is an absolute artist when it comes to making drinks and coffees. One look at their drink menu and you understand that every single ingredient that goes into these creations is given consideration and elevated. The first drink we had was called the Space Time. Lemon Cordial Simple, Butterfly Pea Flower Tea, Tonic, Violet Essence. What? Where does someone even buy these ingredients? Let alone, who has the forethought to put them all together in a glass and create this work of art that you can actually drink? It's incredible. That drink was followed up by their smoked mocha, hickory smoke, dark chocolate, espresso, milk, and black lava salt. But what about their orange blossom latte? Orange blossom water. Even the water here is elevated in their drink. And that's what I mean when I say every single ingredient here is given thought. Each one of these drinks tells a story. Sure, you could go to another coffee shop and get a glass full of flavored syrup that they're going to dump some burnt coffee grounds that they filtered through some paper filter and dumped it in your mouth. But I'm telling you, there's a better option. So if you're passing through Sturgeon Bay down the old business district, this is definitely your first stop. What's up everybody? No, your eyes aren't playing tricks on you. We are no longer in Surgeon Bay. We're back in De Pere. And this is not for a costume change. This is because it is now tomorrow. Because yesterday when we went to shoot our food vlog in Surgeon Bay at the, the taco stand, it's not open. It wasn't open yesterday. So we don't have any footage. We learned some things yesterday that we're gonna to change today. And we're gonna go back for supper tonight. And hopefully we can catch up with Cash and check out some of the cool food. That was the whole point of it. So fingers crossed, I didn't screw this up this time. Swimming in chicks.
right, so we're here in Sturgeon Bay. Made another trip up to talk to Cash, and he's not here again. Yeah, the place is open, but once again, we have missed the man. But we're gonna eat anyway, we're gonna get some food, and uh, unfortunately, we don't get to talk to the guy in charge, but we're gonna show you what he's making anyway. Everything he serves is like summertime on a plate. I love this whole environment. It's not your stale franchise restaurant feel. Every chair in the place is like finding a seat on a carousel. Each one is unique. Whatever he's found for new produce in the area has now found its way into some new concoction on a tortilla that is going to make your mouth water and change you forever. listen to him talk and you know right away that everything he puts on this plate he's given consideration to every ingredient how he's going to prepare it from the sauce that goes on the corn this isn't some ranch dressing out of a bottle it's handcrafted and thought went into this and you could literally put this sauce on a turd and you would eat that shit it's that good this is what small towns are all about these are the stories that they tell. <laughs>